yeah, you do. Alright, we are outside. You know what I'm saying? It's going We're going, going to Shark Island. Yeah. Uh, this is a beautiful day. Our car is here. Uh, shout out to Marvin, you know, the CEO, founder of Shark Island. Um, we had an interview with him and uh, he invited us to come on this island, you know what I'm saying? You know, he sent out, you know, a car to pick us up, you know, some nice treatment and that. We are currently at Accra Mall with a team. That's Michael. Uh, everybody's here basically. So, <laughs> going for a road trip. Stay tuned. Um, this is the behind the scenes. You get to know, you know, what goes on and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, come with us. So, the information reaching me is that we have to get to Aqua Safari first before we get to Shark Island. I've never been there. I don't know how you can get on Shark Island. Um, technically, I'm thinking it's an island, right? And we can't just drive onto the island. So, we have to get a boat. So, I think where we have to duck technically is you know aqua safari um you know we're going to check our property i don't know maybe i might i might buy a property in Ada. Yep. why not you know so stay tuned um this guy is late imagine <laughs> in ghana you wait for your employees you know i'm always on time bro you know i'm always on no, time no we just did an interview yesterday no, and you no, were late no, no. Oh, if knows, knows I'm always on time. If I knows I'm always on time. It's reporting time. Scan. What's your time? Check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone. It's, it's ten thirty right now. Thirty minutes Wait, it was late. Still recording. Uh -huh. Bro, we what even do you have to say to the viewers? I apologize. We are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody's yeah. here, so we about to know, go. Yeah. Simon. Simon, that's how I'll say it. Who told you to say it, Simon? Okay, so we have uh, a manager here. Always, if I pronounce it Simon, he said he doesn't like, like that Simon. Word. Really? He <laughs> 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 said they don't mention it outside Simon. It's Simon, yeah. Really? Yeah, so it's Simon, be proud of it. That's how Simon. I guess. Simon. Uh, if what you, is Simon? If you Simon. Ask me, it's a fish, bro. If you ask me outside, no. I'll tell you Simon. Simon. Simon is what it is. When someone asks you to be here and you ask me, and I say Simon before. Simon is the really? direct. Simon. Alright, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Simon. Wow. I like the serenity of this fish. Oh, it's my first time. Oh, it's my first time. So I'll show you my You have a ring here. Yes, 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 it was so it. so two two let's just yes, okay. use two thousand two thousand times seven times two how much is that calculate it, it was, yeah. oh it, it looks like uh, they have a lot of yeah, animals outside, outside sheep. Sheep. Oh. what is the history behind that oh okay so this is a ship a ship yeah. this is a form of a ship yeah. so our boss decided to have a side one mm. so that we don't have the two sheep standing okay so this one has been turned upside down all these like this. Is that a good luck? <laughs> yes, a good luck. We yeah. actually this is for conference hall. Okay. Look at the bears though. Oh yeah. They have the same like vibe as um yeah. But more animals here though. Yeah. I see yeah. horns and trees. Yeah. We have a lot of animals. Yeah. We have the big one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What should we want to go? But it's actually like a ship though. Yeah. Cut the windows. You don't want to use the washroom, bro? Yeah, cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yo, yo, you don't want to show your weak for now. This is female though. Use the female. There's a female. Use it, bro. Cut it. We're good though. We're out here, bro. Guys, look. I don't know what I'm saying here. So you also want to take a piece? No, everybody's taking a piece. 
Nah. Like, give me my washroom. That's crazy, bro. Very <laughs> thing, yo. Look at oh, the boss. See that horse? Yo, they just walking yeah, around. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of horses. That's dope. They, they're just walking around Check for. That. Paying 2,000 CD a night is like what, $200? The twin CD is there is the same idea. 2,200? Oh, 200 Ghana. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many breakfast? Okay, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner, you have to pay $2,000. But I was eating everything. I said they're sponsored. No, I know, I know that. I mean, if, if they, I'm invited here by the owner of this place, obviously, I get like, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was in uh, Royal Senshi, I didn't pay for no food. I had 14 crews with me, guys. Nobody paid for anything. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You get me? So, yeah. I'm not paying for photography anymore. <laughs> because he's enjoying the he's whole enjoying videography it. thing, man. You get free food, everything, man. Oh, that's a blessing of you know, cinematography. Nice so Is the food good? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I'll find. Because of the rain, you have to wait for like some few minutes. I want to go. I always give on. I think. I don't know. I think their food is really good. So let's get to the other side. Well, so can we take this one? to the pool. <laughs> One thing about Shark Island, if before you get to Shark Island, you have to come through Aqua Safari and get on that boat. They have a parking too. They have a parking? You prefer using the side. Oh really? Oh okay. It's cool though. Yeah. Presidential the last time we left. used the parking, so this is going somewhere there. So good. We would ride a boat. I'll be back. Bro, the umbrella. I took it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna sit right there. Right. Oh no, please join me. Oh no, let me. Are you sure? Can we just get like something to wipe the seat real quick? Yeah, okay, cool. I that is gonna be like the new Miami, man. Ghana, Africa. Yeah. Imagine all the new those bikes places are like developed. Can you imagine there. having your own boat too? Yeah, easy. Yeah. Buy a land here. Just get Let me drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. Jet car. That's more fancy. Like yeah, it's, it's youthly. Like, you get me? Yeah. 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 Huh? With a cars, with a jet cars. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you buy this, looks like. 
Oh, the Jazz cars. You see that see, one? That one it's like a car. car. I know. Yeah. I've seen those. Like Ferrari. I'll buy this one. I'm gonna buy it. Like Ferrari. Like Ferrari. Like Ferrari. Like Ferrari. Amen to that. Gonna buy this one. I want all my friends to win. Ah, if you buy a Ferrari or whatever, Rolls Royce, I'll come and take it. Six days in a week. Okay. I've, been, I've been flying planes and I'm out here. Hey! hey. Yeah, yeah, We're about to hit that grass, bro. No, I got you, man. I got you. Bro, <laughs> 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 I can't take your shit, bro. <laughs> 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 Look at that grass. 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 Look at that swing in my head <laughs> so I have not practiced it but if it comes down oh. to it yeah imagine I was in a life jacket like that on the uh, Apostle Moore River and I was swimming bro but, hey, but, but, but when they took I their life jacket I... off oh no I swear bro <laughs> when they took it off I was sinking a little bit though a little bit wait but y'all how deep is it? it depends you like this like how deep? three feet Yes, three feet. Three feet. That means I'm a fish tiny inside. Hey! Man, I can't die here. Get rid of it. Yeah. Welcome, guys. How y'all doing? Yeah. Love to see you again, my brother. Yeah, man. Hey, officially welcome to Shark Island. Yeah. Frank, how are buddy? Really come and just stay here. And then we'll 
cashed out on the reception six and all that. But these are all the condo buildings. These three have already been sold out. We're selling the fourth one now. But this is, so in the middle of everybody's home, right, you look out inside, you see your pool. And so on this side, is it pool in here? The pool will be out here. Okay. So you see that one ahead. So all here. Instead of building that one. Yeah, yeah. So when you come to your house, if you don't want to go in the, the pool with everybody else, you stay and you have a little bit of support here. And then the, the grass will be trucks all the way around. So you have a level of privacy when the owners come in and want to be in there. I like that. Let's set a gimbal and start recording. And then let's, cool. should we do the drone fest? Yeah, yeah, do the drone. Let's do the fly drone fest and then we do the gimbal. Yeah. Oh, he's a whole tour of Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. This is dope, though. Thank you, bro, man. Manifestation is a big business, bro. Big. You know, every time I look at this thing, though, it don't seem big to me. No, well, it's, it's a big it could piece. be bigger, but I'm like, bro. Yeah, baby. You know, because so when when I think phase one, phase two, phase, look, babe, go with mommy and your sister. You don't want to go and Diana. No, daddy would be there. Go with her. She understands. Yo, I don't even know the kids nowadays, bro. I don't know how to be sharp. I know I was dumb as hell as I ate. <laughs> you told me I ate. I'll be telling her certain things and she like, okay. I'm like, yo, you understood what I was saying? Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, so about 200 feet from here is phase two. We have another 51 units. Oh, away from here or the yeah. right away? So when you come here, you walk through there, yeah. I have phase two, another 200 feet. And then when you go another 200 to 300 feet, there's phase three. That one has the outdoor movie theater. You can swim in the water, you swim. Yeah. Donna's first swim up movie theater. Oh, wow. So you'll be able to lay on your floaty and watch movies from the water from two, 12 o'clock, wow. 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And on the weekends, we have a 10 o'clock show. What I like about all of the things you're doing, nobody has ever done it. But it's only nice if you're the first to do it. But they will come copy now, though, you know. But it's okay. I'm, I'm trying to inspire them, right? So, and in phase three, you have the ATVs, you got the putting course, we have the helipad so that when you come from Accra, we fly you in. Because we'll be bringing a lot of celebrities. This guy big, bro. <laughs> Yo, it takes the same energy to dream big that it takes to dream small. So why not shoot all the way up? That's boss. Well, I ain't the first to say it, but it's facts, right? I mean, the same energy to think of big is the same energy to take to do small, right? So you might as well aim high and miss and you still fall way above everybody else because if you aim low and you hit what good is that you know what i mean so that's it so let's let go crazy with the imagination might as well man and that's what we've lost as a people bro is our imagination right we started believing the lies that we can't do a lot you know so yeah. this is almost like yeah yeah this one is nine percent so the glass will be at the top right here like how mine is okay. so when you're on the deck you can sit out and look out but i'll show you Right, but I love the view from inside, right? So when you look at these windows, you think that you can't see. Or if I see you, you don't see me. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. And then if you want to open it up, and in the future, you want the bugs, you put the screen here. So you can open it up and get all of the degrees, bro. Right, so this is, so one room faces the lawn. Washing. We're just oh, in the glass. All of them have, you know, the in-suite washrooms. Like this here, this kitchen. I'll give you some finished photos so you see this right. It's open. Uh, oh, open, yes. So the kitchen will be here. The fridge, oven, and all of that will be over here. And then you have the dining room area over here. So there's two bedrooms. So this is three bedrooms. And this is my family, this is my electrician's family here for my daughter's party. So this is the pantry. So you have your food and your washing and dry in here. Okay. Very big space. Right? Delicious, yeah. And then this here is the living room. And then all of our windows are sliding glass so that you can get that one window. Yeah. I kind of like that. Oh door. Whatever you want to call it. Just this window. We like big windows. So when you open them up, you yeah. get this amazing cross breeze. Yeah. yeah. It comes in like really hard, right? What's that? We have the other one. Oh, that's what I'm doing. But right. feel this natural breeze that comes across when you open it up. Wow. 
and then from and then from everyone you can walk out and just tap into your front Yeah, and if you get a jet car to go with yours, so we're gonna have a marina out here. So What's your marina, a marina like yo. So you have the floating docks. You can walk okay, out. I'm you pull your this. car. You park. So you come out of here. You walk down to. You jump in your car. You drive to our other island or to the shopping center that we're gonna have over here. You can buy ice cream. You get everything like one of the shopping centers in Accra. Wow. But this is a coastal community, right? Everything is on the work. Let me show you the best part of the house. I see some machine there. What is it doing? That machine right there. So that's our dredger. When I first bought this land, the, the land was low, like where the water is. Okay. So we raised the elevation of this. So that's why when the dam, when they opened up and it overflowed, we weren't affected by it. Okay. So, you know, we previously increased the height. Yo, how much money do you think you used to Oh, he, my, my car guy is asking me how much money do you think he's investing into A lot. Just do it. That's what I keep telling people. That's what I saw when I came here. I saw the Miami. I saw the Hamptons. I saw. So this is the rooftop deck. It's here the green room. Yeah. All the time, right? So when you up here, this particular unit overlooks the pool, right? The reception center, and right here, and a big pool all the way to the ground dirt stuff. So everybody who comes for the day will be able to. You know, eat yeah. at the restaurant, the swimmer bar, you come out to the pool. Yeah. And then at the end of the pool, the event stage will be there. You, you see it, Avery? I see it, I see so it. So when you're in a pool and you have a good time, and we have artists performing yeah. on stage, on the back is a bunch of LED screens, so you don't have to leave the pool to catch the action. It. You see it, Chateauwale from right there in the pool. You see it, you know, all of our yes, other sir. talent that we're going to Or you can look at from, from your private pool right down here. Yes, you can be there too. So when people rent this unit, right? Like you and your boys come, y'all pool your resources, y'all ain't having a good time. You don't even gotta buy tickets to the show because you got a front row seat right here. Right? So you got some of your boys and you know the ladies y'all bring with y'all chilling. <laughs> the rest of us up here, you got so some of our clients are putting their jacuzzi up here, right? Some have their grill. So on my unit in the middle here, I'm gonna have my grill and everything. And then on this side, you come and you get to watch all the races, the jet cars, the race for change. I need you on that with me on the first race for change. That's our way of giving back everybody in this community once a month. We partner with different corporates. We do our race for change, right? You know, to to everything moves that. slow. So the race for change is our initiative where we give back to the community in three different areas, right? Education, sanitation, and health care. But once we've contributed to those three areas, we're going to also donate to the 17 SDG goals of the country, the Sustainable Development Goal, right? So we're partnering with different corporates. They can come and they can use our jet cars to create a different event, you know, that they want to donate, you know, money to. And then once people come, they patronize the event, we donate a percentage of our earnings to those various different charities, right? So definitely we'll even do one, I want to partner with all of the content creators, and this is our way of giving back to Africa and us racing to change the things that we know can make Ghana better, and Africa as a whole, you know? So that's why we have four of our jet cars now, we're bringing another four right now, is in route, but we have the Lamborghini, we got the Bentley, so you can pick your own car, customize it, and then come here and bring that is 11 months of development. Wow. That's you know fast. what I'm saying? That's what people say. I feel like we could have got more done because, you know, we're bringing materials across the water and everything like that. But I'm still grateful for the progress that we've had. But everybody said that. Even my banker came here. He was like, yo, you've done well. Because in Ghana, we just built very slow. But you've been able to, like, you know, build very fast and relatively. Well, again, that's because most of my clients, they'll pay in full. Mm -hmm. So, so when, if you have all the money here, you could, you could build really quick. So that's it. Now, I have one question, though. Go ahead. Is this whole thing on island, island? It's yes, not connected you, to the main. No, when you send the drone, you see water surrounds this thing 365. And that's one of the things I love. Unless you are invited here or you pay the ticket to come to the water park, you can't come here. You're not invited to the party. No, you see, you see <laughs> unless you jump on that park too, and you come here. Yeah. Right? So when you get to our car park, you have to get through security. Yeah. After you get through security there, you get here, you got to get
get through security. You gotta show your ticket. So if anybody comes here to disturb you, they have to pay. At least they're paying you to disturb you. <laughs> right? So, but um, 24 hour security, and that's another thing that our clients like. And that's the, the thing that we're excited about giving to all of our patrons, is the fact you have peace of mind, you come and enjoy yourself, you have amazing amenities, you have other amazing resorts in the area that you could also patronize as well. But you come in, you get peace of mind. You have adventure here, you go to my favorite spot, Aqua Safari, you got yeah. peace and serenity. Yeah. You leave there, you go to we Treasure to Island. Man. They food. Oh, I was smelling their food, I'm like, man, I need to taste it. Oh, like, you, you've <laughs> you never been. You. <laughs> you guys are my treat, you've never been. Never been. Oh, you got I, I, I think I, I came around, I was filming the documentary. I've never been there. Yeah, yeah. You know, the owner of Fari came and he met with me, and you know, he was giving insight like, Mr. Walk, you're doing great. You know, this is what you need to do, how to navigate. And that's always great when they, you know, the other business moguls in the area, they accept Support you and they share. So he's an amazing guy. I told him his Ghanaian, place. Right? Yeah, yeah. But his place is one of the places that I first started hearing about Nada, Aqua Safari. Those two names were synonymous. And when I first came here and I went and I. I went and experienced it. I mean, every weekend, my wife and the kids, we're there on Sundays just hanging out all day. It's a beautiful place. I like it. I see that, like, horses casually walking around. They have everything. They have, like, like 200 peacocks. Like, that. so that's a different vibe, right? And that's what I love about it. You can get all different experiences while here in Ada. But um, he used to work with the uh, Ministry of Forestry, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. um, so he really wanted your eco-type, you know, resort and give you the experience of the animals. You'll be eating there and the horses just be galloping on the beachfront. It's so amazing, mm -hmm. you know, so. No, yeah. you're part of that. No, I'll be, you see how you're saying beautiful things about it? Yeah. yeah. I thought this is fun. I wonder what people say about this place. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah. The vision board. Yes, right? So when people come, they get to see yeah. what the community looks like. So this is what you will see at the end of the product, right? Everybody says, what about landscaping? It's all set. No. There will be landscaping in between each units. You see the shrubs, mm -hmm. right? So just like the bamboo, you have your outdoor washroom, yeah. right? It will separate the each of the units, right? We don't want those big block walls everywhere. It's like you built a prison. Yeah. So these are all our beachfront units that you see out there that are finished. Mm -hmm. The A are all of our three bedrooms, and then the B are the two bedrooms, two right? So as you see, each one has their own private pool, yeah. and we have the big palm trees, coconut trees in there. Right in front of it. Yeah. So this is our reception center. It's right here. Okay. So in here, we have a barbershop, beauty salon. You have the restaurant, and you have the banking hall, so our clients can get up banking to 20000 Yes. Because right now, I have to go all the way to a crowd when I need money. So we're in talks with several banks to put a small teller here so that our clients can get access to up to 20,000 CDs a day. And in addition, they could get, you know, trade their money. So we have a Forex and a banking hall, right? But definitely the restaurant and then the walkout, they come out to the pool. So the community, the reception center will end right at that peg and right outside there, the pool starts all the way down there. So th the visitors that come for the day, they get to enjoy the pool. And they you have to pay money to enjoy the pool. Oh yeah, so once you, you pay your 80 Ghana yeah. to enter, yeah. it gives you an hour on the obstacle course, the overwater obstacle course, yeah. and then you know you can come and swim and everything else. It's just when they want to do any other activities, they go on the line or they go on their app and they pay for the activities and then they just go there. So we're 100% digital. digital. You will pay no cash here. Yeah. Right? And then each of these little blocks, right, is for when we have our event. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring all of the vendors from Accra and you can have market day right here. Makola market on Shark Island, wow. right? Wow. So this way, you know, those from the diaspora yeah. could, you know, connect with the culture, buy their authentic handmade sandals, you know, Ghanaian fabrics and so forth. And this is the event stage, as I mentioned. Yeah. And on the back, you have the LED screen. So everybody here could see the performances. Mm -hmm. Now, when I originally started, these were all one bedroom bungalows. Yeah. And I thought that those would do well, but, you know, 85% of my clients are Ghanaians who live outside, right? Mm -hmm. And what I found is that they have big families, so they want bigger rooms. So that's why we did away with these, and we did the three-story condos back here, right. right? So we'll update this moving forward. Mm -hmm. So because we went up here, we yeah. were able to remove this, and now all of our guests, yeah. up to 2,000 people, could be here just watching the show. Okay. You get it? Okay. So, so there's no building there? No, okay. so there will be no building here, just all landscape there, right? And then back here is our medical center. Mm. So if anybody's here to have a, you know, bruise on the knee, 
potential inhale too much water while they swim in, mm -hmm. then we can go ahead and treat them here. If there's no emergency room, we'll take them across to the mainland and then take them to the major hospital. Okay. So any minor injuries and things like that, we could sustain a patient to get them to the hospital. Nice. Our supermarket, so if you come here, you're spending a week or a month, you have access to all of your groceries, you get those right here. And then this is the Wi-Fi cafe for all of the people who work remotely. Yeah. They do their work on a laptop. Like you, you could be here editing, come yes, stay sir. a week or two, <laughs> you know, <laughs> rent the spot. Yes, sir. But you can connect with other people that are, you know, from South Africa, mm -hmm. America, UK, and then, you know, share ideas and create mm -hmm. here together. Mm -hmm. And then this is the gift shop. So when you come here, you can buy your African print bathing suit, your GoPro cameras if you want to document everything and you right. forgot your camera at home. Mm -hmm. So, and then you also pick up all of the, the keys to the jet cars, the sea breaches, right there, right? So this is all phase one of Shark Island Resort and Residence. Amazing, bro. Amazing. So, you remember a year and a half ago, I showed yeah. you the video, and this is all it come yeah. to life, right? Yeah. So I'm so proud that we've been able to, you know, complete this part. We start the walkway next week, you know, so we'll start doing everything from here, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put up a nice, you know, barrier wall here so that people when they come, they can't see the construction back here. And then, I could not have done this in America and I did, definitely couldn't have done this in 11 months. They would have jammed me up on the permits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd have had to go through a, you know, a vetting period from the white people to tell me that, oh, we'll see if we'll let you in our community. When they done stole all the land. Mm -hmm. In America, they promised you 40 acres and a mule once we got out of slavery. People still waiting for their 40 acres, but they the mule, they the jackass. Mm -hmm. Here, I came here, I was able to acquire this land and add value to other people's lives. I've, I've met so many people who just come and like, oh, because there were little children following me around and calling me a brony, so I'm getting on the plane, I'm going back to America. There's a lady who told me this, it's like, I don't think Ghana is for me. Limited thinking people, limited experience, I also got to be honest, I think one of the, the reasons that I've been able to make it in Ghana mm -hmm. is I come from Guyana. Yeah. It's a third world country. I know about doom so I know about living in, you know, a house way below my means. In America, all they know about is living in, you know, fully functional, established buildings. They So, me, I had to struggle for a few years. There's a saying that goes, live a few years like most people won't mm -hmm. so you could live the rest of your life yeah. like most people can so i made a choice to struggle and figure it out for three years here in ghana it's only my last two years that things have started to take off for me and i'm still not where i want to be like i said it's millions of dollars in in real estate here but i don't have that liquid but i don't need it right now i don't got no light bill i don't got no water bill my house is paid off i have very limited stress i got a wife two beautiful kids I get to spend every day with. So you gotta start being thankful for what you have so that the universe will give you more. If you're not grateful for the fact we can sit here and have a conversation, chill in a jet car that we brought from, you know, Turkey. You know, people are leaving Ghana to go to Dubai to experience this. Yeah. When I first posted my my virtual video that yeah. I'm bringing this to Ghana, people are like, ah, this will never be in Ghana. And I'm like, why? Why? We are powerful people. We could do these things too. It isn't just the Lebanese, the white man, the Chinese that could do greatness. Y'all do not know, from the street lights to Jack Daniels to almost everything in America, Africans made it. Mm. Do you know that the algorithm for Instagram and Facebook, a, a young Ghanaian did Great. that? Yeah. A young Ghanaian did that. In Ghana, when they see anything nice, it's like, oh, the white man is very wise. I am. I am. I am. It's, it's the mindset, man. We have to re engineer and re, you know, well, program ourselves. Well, I, I want to show them. Yeah what's possible yeah. and I'm glad that my journey wasn't one that when I came I had all the resources because this one guy he owns a print shop in um, Accra and he said to me he said Marvin I saw your video he said do you know that you inspired me mm. and I was like me you're gonna he said I said how am I inspiring you I'm here trying to figure it out yeah. right he said, no, you don't understand. Me, I'm Ghanaian, I live here. And I run into these challenges and I want to quit. You, you're not even from here. You don't understand the terrain. And to see you just pushing through and yeah. fighting and not giving up, you have inspired me. And then I realized that's the best thing that you could do, be an inspiration to somebody. Yeah. And if you could show them what's possible and give them the courage to go tackle their dreams now, then I have to see this vision through. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. right? Yes. Because if now you and my young brother here that said I did the same thing for him and these guys, and now we're all doing it because we're all believers that we could achieve greatness. Yeah. How much better are we for our community? Collectively, yeah. You know what I mean? So. I could go on for days, so I'm it's not gonna... It's powerful, man. I appreciate it. I love yeah, it. I'm not gonna gum bug. Yeah, you speaking wisdom, though. Wisdom. Wow. What millions, man? I'm not as young as I look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so surprised when I first <laughs> it. I just look boyishly young and handsome, but I'm almost a senior citizen. <laughs> you know? True. So... So when I tell people my age, I, I talk with wisdom, but, you know, I've, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've failed yeah. so many times. And that's what I love about Ghana. Like I'm living my best life in Ghana. I didn't plan on coming here. Yes, it was it was challenging at first. Still some challenges every day, but I feel at home now. You know, some of my my workers, you'll see them here. They've become my friends and my family. Yeah. When they get off of work, they play volleyball. They don't want to leave. Yeah. I buy them clubs. We chill, and I just like wow. I've, I've inspired them and I've given them something great. So life has purpose here for me. You know, I found a purpose and, and I'm enjoying it right now. Come to send a message to the diaspora is watching. Yeah, listen, for those of you who are open-minded and looking for something that supports your belief that life could be great in Africa, let me be that for you. And let me tell you that if you yourself come and check out the continent, whether it's Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, wherever your spirit is calling you to be, right? you could make it here there's some amazing people that want to see you make it here and want to help you but come and see it for yourself don't believe what we've been shown and programmed to think about africa come and go through it for yourself you're going to exchange a different set of problems for a new set of problems but these problems are worth it and it's always worth it to be part of the majority with us That's melanated it. people That's so it. come through and check us out come to ghana yeah You, you know they will come. Where, where's our, our, our village kids? Come, come, come. Bring all, the, all her friends that that were here last year for the first birthday. Come, 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 come. 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 Come, 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 Guys, we want. First of all, we want to thank each and every one of y'all for celebrating my daughter's second birthday here on the island. It has been an amazing, amazing two years here with uh, all of you. You guys have helped us turn a vision into a reality so we could think of no better people to spend it with. Even though some of y'all are old as shit and shouldn't be here. <laughs> but we love y'all all the same, right? So this is Amara's second birthday. And baby, we just want to say that we are so grateful to have you. We're happy for you. So guys, let us sing a happy, happy birthday to Amara. Ask her how old she is. And then we're going to cut the cake. And again, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you for being here and spending this day with us. Big Hayford, you you got Captain Hayford here, girl. <laughs> you don't know how big you are. All right, so let's sing happy birthday to her. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amara. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now? I'm two! How old are you now? That's it. Wonderful! All right, baby, come here. You gonna cut your cake. Yeah. Come here, you cut. Move closer. Ah, uh, she doesn't like cameras. 
Oh. <laughs> no, she's acting shy now. Trust you, she's not shy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, Ooh, baby. Oh, good Ooh. job. Ooh. Delicious cake, and you will share with all of the friends and family who are here. It's official. All right, and then you will take the first piece, baby. Right? You want it? Well, you want you want take the Oreo? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that baby, she's got a cake. You share with everybody. Hooray! Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we just finished here. Um, we're going back to our safari. We had a great time with some amazing guys. So yeah, man. Watch me go eat some nice Ghanaian food at our safari from Shakara. Do you know what's missing? What? Uh, <laughs> have you done the tour already? Yeah, yeah, we just finished that. I really would love to really interview some people here, but not today. I will take your number. You can say that up, maybe. I'll give you content. Oh, yeah? I'm looking for the Maya. Oh, really? That's a good friend. Really? I'm speaking to the right person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't know their blog. You know their blog. You know what you do. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 60 photos. 60 bro? Alright, I'll start. Man, it's been a long day. We just finished here. We're now at Aqua Safari. We're gonna get into our car and head back to Aqua. It's been a long day. Full of fun. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing videos coming your way. A few moments later. Baby, Charlie, you see how hard we're working. Content creating is not easy. Go like, share, and subscribe. How are you feeling, Michael? Tired. I'm up for tired, but to a beer we go. That's where I live, so. I got an even long journey, bro. I know. I know. Alright then, peace then.